I am the co-chair of the Northampton Mayor's Youth Commission with Mariel Lutz. Uh, she's also a senior at the Northampton High School. Um, we've both been involved with it a few years now, and uh, this is this is our project here. It's been our little baby over this past year, and we're really excited to to see it all coming together. It's been a little crazy, but to really see it all happening right now, it's really awesome. Bringing artwork to the streets is a beautiful thing, and seeing the diversity of everyone else's artwork is absolutely inspiring for me, and I'm sure it will be for a lot of other people. And just the energy in this city is so beautiful, and I think um, these benches will help bring the city even more to life and help add to its character that it already has. Yeah, it was, it sort of happened on a whim, really. We were just sitting around, and Bill Dwight just sort of said, you know, painting the benches could be interesting. So. It just sort of bounced off from there. We started thinking through it and seeing what we could do, and we were, had a lot of motivation towards um, the fact that the benches had been removed at one point, and also um, our really big goal there was celebrating Northampton, um, even more than just the art part. We want this to end up um, in the future to be like Northampton Day. Um, well, recently I've been doing a lot of public art, and I just enjoy putting stuff out into the public and interacting with the public and making something that everybody could appreciate. And you don't have to be in a gallery or you know, go into a museum. You can just walk down the street and see the art. And then also, like, I live in Northampton, so it's kind of fun to see my own artwork. This is the first year anything like this has happened to this public art that's going to be sticking around. We're hoping for at least a year. Um, it's our goal. We're going to be putting a clear coat over it, which has worked really well for the DPW and their snow plows. So we're excited there. Um, there was a few years ago, someone had an idea of painting the utility boxes, which that could end up being added along here as well. Um, but this is the first, this is the first, and we're hoping it's not the last. I think it can go somewhere, yeah. I grew up in Northampton, and I've been in this area the majority of my life, so it's, it's nice to leave kind of a visual mark in town. This is going to be a tribute to Northampton, so I'm gonna have different elements from uh, kind of like the Northampton scene for example, Northampton's really big into music, so there's going to be a G-clef and kind of music lines over here, music notes. This is a tribute kind of to the Connecticut River and the Connecticut River Valley, so I'm painting what's going to be grass right now, and there will be mountains in the background, and uh, most likely it'll end up being a sunset scene. Yes, back. so it's going to be a chevron pattern. I'm playing with the positive and negative space. It's going to be black and white and purple. Um, basically, I'm going to be doing an octopus, so... Um, a more fluid version, a little bit abstract, so lots of oranges and blues, complementary colors, and a very fluid kind of piece, I think. And, and my students, they did something like this on one of our, our bathroom walls at the school. Uh, anyway, so it's, it's inspired by LeWitt and Mondrian. I'm pretty excited to be leaving a semi-permanent mark uh, on the streets of Northampton. So.